Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how to plan your first trip abroad. Stay tuned. Rookie notes. Why I make the mistakes I already made. So the first step when planning your trip abroad is deciding where exactly you want to go. You have to ask yourself such questions including what do I want to get out this trip? Will my trip be all about relaxation? If you're studying abroad, is this your only chance to go to an untraditional place? Or do you want to have a religious experience? All of these questions are fair game when deciding where you want to go. You have to think about the climate. Language. Language, let me tell you, language is crucial. With that said, don't let you not being able to speak the local language deter you from visiting that place. I mean, you can buy like a, one of those books, learn a cute couple key phrases, and you should be good to go. Interests. And lastly, safety. I would not choose a destination with a travel warning or a travel alert. Um, and these can be checked out by going to travel.state.gov. The second step of planning your first trip abroad is to get a passport. In the video that is right here, I cover getting your passport in detail. What you need to budget for usually is lodging, food, transportation. You also want to budget for entertainment and emergencies. And let me tell you, emergencies are real. There have been times where I, something has happened and I had to pull out extra cash that I not expect to spend. So it's very important that you definitely budget for emergencies. Also keep in mind when you're planning your first trip abroad that some countries are more expensive than other countries. For example, the cost of living may be cheaper in Costa Rica or in India than it is in uh, Great Britain. The next step for planning your trip abroad is to develop an itinerary. And y'all, let me tell you something. I have went to places where I did not have an itinerary and that is definitely a rookie mistake. Definitely plan before you go somewhere. <laughs> With that said, do not try to jam pack everything into the time you're gonna be there. It's okay to be a little bit fluid and to have spaces in your schedule where you know you don't have something planned because the part of traveling is sometimes just to explore and sometimes to get lost. So don't pack everything in. It's time to book your tickets. What I use usually is skyscanner.com or for the 26 and under crowd or the student crowd, I like to use studentuniverse.com and find accommodation. What I've used in the past is hotelsworld.com, hotels.com, and Airbnb. And what I like about Airbnb is that it gives you a more homier feel at your destination. And, and using Airbnb is a great way to meet the locals and to find out holes in the walls um, or non-touristy places that you might not have found otherwise had you stayed at a hotel. And do not bring everything that you own because that gets heavy real fast and you're the one who has to carry it up the stairs around the town and you're gonna be like, nope, nope. <laughs> you're gonna be ready to throw stuff away. Also pack lightly because all I gotta say is airline fees. If you wanna be poor, overpack. The last step is to just finally go. Enjoy your time, take lots of pictures, and absorb the culture, the foods, the music, everything. Enjoy yourself. If you like this video, please subscribe, thumbs up, like me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me. The fastest way to get to me is on Facebook or Twitter, or shoot me an email at rickynotes at gmail.com. Until next time, guys. Chelsea. Thanks for watching.